Hello everybody, it's Obstetric and Gynecology Made Easy. Today we are gonna talk about adenomyosis, definition, classification, and mnemonic for ultrasound features. Definition and types. Adenomyosis is a benign gynecological disease described in the last century by the presence of endometrial glands and stroma within the myometrium with or without cyst resulting in adjacent smooth muscle hyperplasia. The most accepted theories considered that the disease develops through the downing growth and invagination of the endometrium basalis into the myometrium through an altered or absent junction zone. The junction zone is a highly specialized structure identified in ultrasound as the hypoechoic tissue identified beyond the endometrial basal layer. There are three types of adenomyosis, focal, adenomyoma, and diffuse. Focal adenomyosis is a localized patches of adenomyosis. It appears as a specific area or island of endometrial tissue within the myometrium. Focal adenomyosis is identified when more than 25% of the lesion is surrounded by normal myometrium. Adenomyoma Adenomyoma is a type of focal adenomyosis where the endometrial tissue form a well-defined benign tumor-like mass within the myometrium. It can sometimes be confused with fibroids due to similar presentation, primarily cystic in appearance, and may sometimes be found on MR to be filled with blood products. Diffused adenomyosis characterized by widespread infiltration of endometrial tissue through the myometrium. Without a clear boundary between the adenomyotic lesions and normal myometrial tissue. Unlike focal adenomyosis, where the abnormal tissue is localized, diffuse adenomyosis affects a large portion of the uterine muscle. We have cystic adenomyosis and non cystic adenomyosis. Cystic adenomyosis characterized by presence of cyst-like cavities within the myometrium. These cysts are typically filled with blood or blood-stained fluid and can vary in size. Cystic adenomyosis can sometimes be associated with cyclic pelvic pain or heavy ministerial bleeding if the cysts are large or ruptured. Non-cystic adenomyosis this type involves adenomyotic lesions without the formation of cysts. The endometrial tissue is diffusely or focally present with the, within the myometrium but does not form fluid-filled cavities. Non-cystic adenomyosis may present with symptoms similar to other forms of adenomyosis such as dysmenorrhea, menorrhagia or chronic pelvic pain depending on the extent of the disease. Adenomyosis may involve one or more of the three uterine layers. Type 1 when only the junction zone is involved. Type 2 when the middle myometrium, the layer between the junction zone and the vascular arcade is involved. Type 3, if adenomyotic lesions are found in the outer myometrium. The severity of adenomyosis may be classified according to the extent of the disease in terms of percent of affected myometrium, mild less than 25%, moderate 25 to 50%, severe more than 
adenomyosis features in ultrasound. Mnemonic is adenomyosis. A4 asymmetrical uterine wall thickening. D4 Doppler increased vascularity, a speckled or malted pattern with decreased resistant index. E4 enlarged uterus, globally enlarged uterus with length equal or more than 9 cm. No, no clear junction zone, hazy or fluffy, interrupted irregular and pseudo second junction zone. Myo. Myometrium is heterogenic with myometrial cyst equal or less than 6 cm which is seen best in the second half of the menstrual cycle with no single on Doppler. S4 sub endometrial lines and buds and I4 island of heterogeneity refer to ectopic endometrium. S4 sun rays, rain shower sign, which is linear striation radiated from the endometrium to myometrium, and S4 Swiss cheese appearance of myometrium. There is direct feature in red color which indicate presence of endometrium tissue in myometrium and indirect feature in orange color which is a sequence of ectopic endometrium in myometrium not all signs found in all cases differentiate adenomyosis from leiomyomas Adenomyosis with ill-defined margins, while leiomyoma is well-defined margins. Adenomyosis with central vascularity, while leiomyoma with peripheral vascularity. Adenomyosis with minimal mass effect on serosa and endometrium relative to the size of the lesion. Adenomyosis with small, smooth external contour of the uterus, while leiomyoma with non-smooth external contour of the uterus. Adenomyosis with lack of calcification, while leiomyoma with calcification. I hope this helps. Please don't forget to like and share.